Okay, earlier we have seen this question, but we did everything, right? We wrote down all the terms, and then we just count one, two, three, four, five, six, and this will be the sixth term, and then we do the calculations after that. It's actually possible um, to follow some procedure and to figure out what's the specific term that they're asking. Okay, so the sixth term, that's what we're trying to do. Here is the fast way to do it. Uh, I will just write this as, uh, I will write this, the quicker way to look at this. Again, you just need to kind of follow the procedures and make sure of what to do first. And it's everything that's uh, systematic. What I'm going to show you is systematic. We're looking for the sixth term. Okay, the sixth is term of 3x minus 2 raised to the 7. We are still going to use the binomial theorem, the binomial coefficients, and this is how we are going to do it. Start off by doing the NCRs, and I will use this notation for the NCRs. Look at what the exponent do we have originally, which is a 7. Then I'm going to put a 7 right here. If the question is asking you to find a 6th term, what you want to put is actually 5. 7 choose 5. And let me take a look of why. As we can see, this is uh, what you will get if you want to write down everything, right? The key right here is, we start off with 7 choose 0. We didn't start off with 1. 7 choose 0, that's the first term. Second. 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th. Because we start with 0, so that's why we lose one value. So the, uh, the binomial coefficient right here, it's actually 7 choose 5. 7 choose 5 for the 6th term. Make sure you do take away 1 from the question that they are asking. The 6th term, minus 1, you get 5. 7 choose 5. Okay, that's the key. Because once you have this done, um, we can figure out the correct exponent based on this. Next, once we have this, I'm going to write down 3x in parentheses. That's the first term. And in the meantime, I will also have negative 2 in parentheses, which is the second term. I'm going to look at the second term uh, first, which is a negative 2. I need to match the exponent of this, the exponent of the negative 2 right here, must match with the number that I have right here, the r, the 5 right here, right, the 5 right here. The exponent of the second term have to match with this number right here. So I have to write down negative 2 to the 5th power. Okay, And then, for 3x to what power? Um, just ask yourself, we already have 5. And the exponent right here plus the exponent right here must add up to the exponent of the original. So what plus 5 is equal to 7, which is equal to 2. Okay, so this is how you are going to set this up. 7 choose 5 times 3x in the parentheses raised to the second power times negative 2 in the parentheses raised to the fifth power. And notice that this is exactly what we have earlier. So you just need to follow this procedure. You just need to follow follow this procedure. And then you can just take a screenshot right here, and that's pretty much the answer, okay? This is pretty much what you need to do. So you know, just for practice, I will do another example. Let's find the fourth term. The fourth term of exactly the same. 3x minus 2 raised to the 7. Uh, maybe let me write down the answer right here. Negative 60, 48, x squared. Uh, see previous video for this. But I want to do this right here. Okay, so start off with the co um, binomial coefficient. Since the original exponent is 7, I'm going to put a 7 right here. The question is asking us to find the fourth term. But I'm going to put a 3 right here. Make sure that, make sure that you minus 1. 
take away one from the question, right? The question is asking for four. You take away one, and you put three right here. And then look at 3x and the negative 2. Let me put the 3x in parentheses and also the negative 2 in parentheses. Start off with the exponent of the second term, which is the negative 2. This exponent have to match with this number, which I have to have the 3. And then for this exponent here, I already have 3. What plus 3 will be 7? What plus 3 will be 7? 4 plus 3 will be 7. So I need to have the 4 right there. That's it. That's how you set this up. The rest is just a matter of doing the calculation. Okay? So I'll just do this since uh, we didn't do this earlier. So 7 choose 3. This is exactly the same as 7C3 on the calculator. Parentheses 3x to the 4th times negative 2 to the 3rd power. Calculator time. So to do this, um, hit 7 first, and then look for the NCR key. I need to hit shift at the NCR. 3 equals to 35. So this becomes 35. Times 3 to the 4th power is 81. X to the 4th power, just let me write it down like this. Times negative 2 to the 3rd power, which is negative 8. And put parentheses around it. Then, again, calculator time, I get 35 times 81 times parentheses negative 8. I have negative 2, 2, 6, um, 8, 0. So let me write it down like this. Negative 2, 2, uh, 6, 8, 0. And then write down x to the 4th power. x to the 4th power. Okay, so in this case, let's see, do we have the same answer as the one that we got right here? So this is uh, the entire, like the, the whole expansion, the first term, second, third, the fourth, right? And that's exactly what we have right here. Right? The fourth term is exactly what we have right here. So just make sure that you follow the procedure that I show you in this video. Then you don't need to um, do everything. You can just you know look at the exponent first, take away one, and then match the exponent, and then make sure these two add up to seven, which is the seven. Okay.